Well, welcome back to Tisha's Kitchen. I hope you've had a chance to view some of our videos that we've made. We've had a lot of fun. It's very new for us and possibly quite clunky, but that's us. So um, today I'm going to make a banana bread, a healthy banana bread from Cookie Do on the Thermomix. And now it says 225 grams of buckwheat, and I've got the whole buckwheat here. So here's the buckwheat grain, and we're going to mill it for 10 seconds on speed 10, and then we'll have buckwheat flour. So this is a gluten-free banana loaf, and there are so many on the internet at the moment, but this is in the basic cookbook that comes with the Thermomix, and it is really lovely. It says it's a healthy one, and it, you'll see... Okay, so in it goes, and we're going to mill it, as I said. So we'll save the recipe there, and it takes us to this screen, and we'll go for 10 seconds at speed 10. So we go back to the recipe, and I'll show you what beautiful flour we have. Look at that, 10 seconds, it's really... <laughs> As I say, I've been so amazed by this machine. It's still every day it knocks my socks off. So now we're going to add coconut sugar. It says 150, but I, because the bananas are really sweet, they're quite ripe. I've cut it down, so we'll see what I measured it to. 128, I could have done less, but uh, my grandson's going to eat it, and he likes it slightly sweeter. So some bicarb of soda, I've also added my, because I know that there's going to be some baking powder, I've added them both in. Again, all gluten free. And the ground cinnamon, I've mixed it in with everything here. Um, and my salt is a half a teaspoon of salt. And so coming over, so I'm going to mix it now. Mix it for five seconds at speed four. So now we're adding the rolled oats. I've again added everything. So we, um, just for speed, got the oats and desiccated coconut and one teaspoon, a tablespoon of chia seeds. And we're going to insert, mix again. Again, and now we're going to add three ripe bananas. Still taking me a while after having lived in England for so long to get used to how quickly bananas ripen in the tropics. We buy them sort of greenish one day and the next day, by, yeah, after two days, they are almost overripe. We can add one egg. We can do it through the hole. Take the measuring cup out. And natural yogurt. Again, homemade. I don't know how much I love my yogurt. I guess I could have used the less noisy scraper. And red seed oil. Measured. And a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. I don't have the paste at the moment, but um, I have the, it is natural vanilla. I, I don't buy, um, un, I always insist on natural vanilla because it has the best flavor. So insert another cup, let's see here. And I was going to mix it for 15 seconds at speed four. I haven't timed myself, but I think that was probably five minutes, if that much. So there it all is, beautifully. It's very, it's a very wet uh, mixture, but it comes out really well. So Maple syrup. It's a little uneven, but you know, won't affect the taste. Here we go into the oven for uh, 60 minutes. <sighs> oh, it smells good. And there we have it. That 
beautiful. Oh,